Hey everyone, Varun here from Language Academy, and I have got Kratu with me, who is our latest student, and he has got 90 each in PT, 90 in reading, 90 speaking, 90 listening, and 90 writing, which is a massive score. And a lot of people out there they are aiming or dreaming for this score. And before we move on, the first thing I would like to ask you that what was your mindset when you want, went for your exam? What was your approach which took you one level ahead of what you were aiming for? Okay, so I'll start here. First two attempts that I went for the exam, I got eight each in two modules and seven each in the other two. So, which is pretty close and it, as a lot of people know, it's really frustrating when you get that score because you're nearly there but you didn't get the score and you have to start everything all over again. So when I went to the exam this time, there was one difference that I noticed, one key difference, which was I was much more prepared for what was coming. And that made all the difference, to be honest, because um, if you know what mm -hmm. to expect, nothing can surprise you, nothing can shock you mm -hmm. and you can go ahead and give your best. That's right. So you say that it is very important to know how the exam works and what all you will face in the exam, right? And what was, I remember when I went, you know, I met you for the first time over here, you were kind of depressed and you were like giving up on PT that you can't really do it because you thought your English is very good. You have studied in English medium school, but you were not getting through. So you thought that you will either go for IELTS and you, will, you won't be ever able to do PT. So what motivated or encouraged you to go for the exam again and smash it literally, you got 90. What, how did you go for it? So to be honest, like like you said, I, I totally agree. I was I was really depressed and I was about to give up. Like I can't do it after two attempts. Come on, someone studying from an English medium school and then going to university here, he still can't get the score, which means there's no room for improvement anymore. I've tried a lot and then one of my friends they recommended me here. And um, once I came in here, the mm -hmm. tutors were really friendly and they told me that it's not about uh, your English. Mm -hmm. This exam doesn't test your English as such. It tests your techniques and how well you know the exam. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if your English is good or bad. You can still get eight each or nine each. So you should not be scared. Mm -hmm. So they explained to me in detail and that's when I got it. That's right, that's right. Any piece of advice for people out there who are actually going for the exam over and over again and every time they miss out in one section or the other and they are literally giving up on PT. Any suggestions for them? So the thing is that don't give up because think about it like what's going to happen if, if you give up, you're going to give up on your extra 10 points for your permanent residency and given the scenario now in the migration policies those 10 points are a crucial step that can make and make or break your case that's, that's right, what that's it is right. so don't give up think about the end result and um go for the right advice like I, I can't even begin to tell you how important it is to get the right advice because a lot of times we think that like one of your videos it mentions that if if some people are missing out on writing they keep practicing essays but in fact, it's not the essays that is giving them marks, That's but right. it's something else. So if you don't get right advice, you'll be focusing on the wrong area. So make sure you know what you're working on. That's right. That's right. And last thing before we wrap up, were you expecting this score? No, no. I was, I was actually really shocked when I got this score. I was like, maybe I'll make it, maybe not. Worst case, I mean, sorry, best case, I'll get eight each, but nine was like, no, uh, no way. That's right, that's right guys. So as he said that working hard is very important but working hard in the right direction is the most important thing you should do. And yes, if you are missing out in PT, don't ever give up. Go for the exam again, you know, get the right techniques and you will do it, you will smash it for sure. You can also do it, don't ever give up on PT. And that's my best piece of advice for you. And thanks very much for watching this video till the very end. I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Thank you very much.